Hey guys, Funky Fan Theories here to bring you a brand new video. Now I know that I've been gone for like nearly a year and I want to say thanks to the guys who stayed subscribed and liked my videos. I had a lot of controversy over my Breaking Bad Nacho's Fate video and I understand that, that theory, the, th the theory proposed didn't really make much sense but that's the point of this channel. I want to show you wacky, stupid, interesting theories but always, but anyway, whatever. That video's done, I apologise for anyone who found it really stupid, but that was the that was the point. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the video, uh, where we'll be looking at the real reason why Ned Stark never fought in tournaments. I'm sure we'll have a tournament to celebrate your new title, if you accept. It would be good to have you in the field, the competition has become a bit stale. I don't fight in tournaments. No? Getting a little old for it? <laughs> I don't fight in tournaments. That's when I fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. This theory was provided by Reddit user Sir underscore Hater. The link to the original theory will be in the description. Ned Stark defeated Arthur Dane, the greatest swordsman to ever live, at the Battle of the Tower of Joy. Everyone knows it. His children have heard the story a thousand times. The only other man to survive was Howland Reed. Ned wasn't even wounded. Except, it was a lie. Arthur Dane was better than Ned, far better. Ned was disarmed, and he would have been killed had Howland not stabbed Arthur in the back. The Honourable Ned Stark didn't want himself and Howland to be stained by the dishonour of such an act. So he let everyone believe he had beat Arthur. Ned knew everyone would love to see the man who beat Arthur Dane in a fight. But he didn't win the, if he didn't win the tournament by thrashing his opponent, it would cast doubt on the story. Ned knew... He wouldn't be able to live up to the hype, and that is why Ned Stark never fights in tor tournaments. So this is a very plausible theory, and I think it was a nice little neat one to welcome myself back to you guys. Um, I'm really enjoying Game of Thrones Season 7. It's been a really good season so far, so I'm excited to see these last three episodes. But what do you guys think of this theory? Do you think this is the reason, the real reason Ned Stark doesn't fight in tournaments? Or is the reason he gives to Jamie his true reason? Anyway... I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.